to day trading and you want to start your day trading journey step by step and this is the video for you if you are facing any problem like where to start day trading what books to read what is the right process to achieve profits in the field of day trading why so many traders are losing in the day trading so there is so much of confusion if you are one among them this video is for you and let's continue to the video in this video i'm going to give you the solution like it is a step by step process to start day trading when you follow these steps without fail there are higher chances to give you the profits than your losses most of the time 95% of the traders as per sebi 95% of the traders are losing money within the 6 months okay when you do it in a set time way there is a higher chances to gain profits from the stock market let's get into the video and by the end of the video you are going to get the step by step process and the benefits to uh, to when following this system will be known to you okay the first one is educate yourself when you are new to day trading you have to educate yourself first like any other profession you have to learn about it you have to give some time for that to understand what is the in and out of the system once you do that you are going to have the idea about what the targeted market is uh, wanting from you like uh, if the it if you want a it job you will go and learn some java programming or some sap programming like that without educating yourself you can't do anything in this field in any field so the target there is you want to earn a job from it companies okay this is your target likewise in day trading also you have to educate yourself to educate yourself what you have to do this is the question again let's get into this you have to educate yourself from the basics and where will you get all these basics like that okay initially you don't have so much of money to learn from uh, or to get books and read them because as you are new to day trading and this is a uh, unique profession you can't invest more in the first of uh, learning so i suggest you to learn the basics from google okay learn the basics from the google and in that you have to know about options and futures and the stocks what indices or what stocks you want to trade so google all these things and uh, you will know some information about this nowadays 90% of the information is there in the google so then when you google about the options and futures and stocks you have to learn about the strategies what are the strategies that are available to trade the markets okay when you search this in the google you're going to get some strategies directional strategies non directional strategies straddles strangles iron condor cpr pivot points scamarella pivot points macd rsi like this so many so many systems are there which is having some strategies okay the first one you have completed you have learned the basics the second one is read books and online resources why i am saying once you have the foundation of the basics what you want to learn from the google then go and search for the books that are complementing your end goal okay for example you have chosen to trade in indices there are some books exclusively for indices there are some youtube channels there are some blogs exclusively for indices then go and read those books i know as you are a new trader you can't affect afford much as you are new to this arena because you want to know what is the in and out of the day trading and initially you can't spend more money on books i know that that's why i have a solution for you like www.pdfroom.com when you go to this site and search for a particular book you want there are chances to get the book in this site this is a free online book store 
where you can download the books if you don't get a book from this store that means you have to purchase it in the earlier days i want to um, read some books like i i have learned some basics from the google and i have want to read some books which is so expensive like 6000 3000 4000 like that the the great books so i found a way to read about them i just googled it and i found a uh, a site like this www.pdfroom.com and i have casually searched in that i got the books there so whatever book you want first go to pdfroom.com then if you don't find the book in that uh, .com so you can purchase it on amazon so what is the online resource you can watch my youtube channel you can search for at the rate make money 111 where my channel appears there and you can learn the system as i am following the cpr reward point system which is really useful for option buyers and option sellers in the future if you want it to be a option buyer or a option buy, option seller there is no problem you can watch this channel and i would like to say that even if you are trading the forex the indices the stocks the foreign stocks what not whatever you want to trade you can learn the system of cpr pivot points which is applicable for every instrument one simple criteria is that instrument should have liquidity okay the in and out of the liquidity the traders who want to trade that instrument should be high this is the one criteria even you are trading forex commodities stocks indices bitcoin no problem cpr is available cpr pivot points is applicable to all the instruments okay now take online classes i don't recommend you to take paid classes at first but go for free workshops there are so many youtubers over there offering free workshops when you go there and learn from them maybe you are getting two or three points in that webinar or workshop so write it down work on it okay work on it if you feel like or uh, or if you see the workshop has potential then you can go to the paid workshop okay this is how you have to do it step by step now the second one here is choose a reliable broker why to choose a reliable re reliable broker because when you are making the trades in the market you have to pay even you are getting losses or profits okay the brokerage is confirmed if you are making 10000 loss also you are paying brokerage if you are making 20 30000 also you are paying the same brokerage so you have to search for the discount brokers in the market and i have got two discount brokers here which is kotak securities and first stock currently i am trading with the kotak securities which is offering zero uh, brokerage and uh, first stock is also good but i prefer to trade in zero uh, zero brokerage like uh, kotak securities if you want to open the link, uh, the Uh, account in demat account in kotak securities i would like to give the description in the description i would like to give the link okay once you choose the research uh, research about the brokers and you choose one broker do paper trade for about 2 or 3 months for example in the educate yourself section you have learned the basics you have read some books whatever you have chosen system it is and you have some online resources with you uh, take online courses free workshops by doing all these stuff you know you definitely have some strategies with you that strategies you have to be paper trade this is the right process okay or you can paper trade with it within sensible.com okay go to sensible.com and search for paper trading you will get paper trading there now the third one is develop a trading plan okay 
already you have the trading plan here and uh, you have paper, paper traded it now it's time to develop a trading plan with with particular goals strategies and backtesting this is the third step define your goals what are the goals why you are watching this video why you want to get into stock market day trading obviously the end result is making money making big money making huge money right define your goals the money expectation what you want to earn from the markets the second one is create a trading strategy okay create a trading strategy from where from this section create a trading strategy and choose one or two strategies only okay one or two strategies and be disciplined with those strategies now the third step is back test your strategy back test using charts okay when you back test your strategy and if you are one person that has strategies which are back tested you have the confidence level of 90 percent and the other person who doesn't back tested their strategy have the confidence levels of 20 or 30 percent this is the power of back testing your charts and i know if you are watching this video till now i would reward i would like to reward you with the back testing charts as i am a specialist in indian indices nifty and bank nifty i would like to give you the back testing charts for about uh, four months back so you can uh, get them uh, if you want to those if you want those charts just mail me i would like to give you my mail id in the description section okay now let's go here what is the fourth step the fourth step is risk management which is a crucial step for any trader to survive in the market surviving in the market is the most important thing when you survive in the market for about one or two years that means you are uh, you are designed to trade in the markets okay you have that capability to trade the markets but you need the right guidance okay now once this is the risk management thing set a budget for examples what i would like to say here is if you want to win 50000 from the stock market you have to risk at least 25000 why i would like to say this because when you risk 1% you have to aim for 2% okay this is called risk reward you have to give the market to gain from the market this is inevitable you can't avoid the losses in the market what you can do with your preparation and experience and everything else is you can get more profits than losses that is the only one thing you have to do many traders say that there is no holy grail in the market but in my view the holy grail is the risk reward when you are risking less even though you are risking uh, small small amounts and losing small small amounts when your reward is high by the end of the month you will get profits this is the one of the most important principle i would like to follow every single day even though it is showing a great setup showing so much of momentum if the risk reward is not favorable to me i don't enter the trade this comes from experience losing so much of money in FOMO effect which is a fear of missing out effect but try to follow the risk reward in the earlier days the second one is use stop losses and take profits orders why this is come under risk management why because in the live market new traders do like this that they don't use their stop losses this is like insurance for them when they are wrong that stop loss will give to the market okay that that's it you're wrong that's it you are out of the trade most traders don't use their stop losses and lost their 50 60 percent of the capital in single trade 
90 percent of the traders like this even even traders who are making lakhs and crores of rupees nowadays are losing like this for sure okay and take profit orders why take profit sometimes market is so moment having a so momentum big momentum sometimes there is no momentum there is sideways action when you are taking your profits according to your mood feeling uh, expectations it is not going to work out okay do take the profits as per your plan for example in the pre market analysis you have followed a plan according to your learned system and if the plan says to take your profit at 2 1 is to 2 risk reward just do it okay in the momentum maybe you get 1 is to 3 risk reward just take it and get out of the market this is how you can discipline yourself about the markets when you use your brain trust me you can't make profits don't use your brains use the system now what uh, how to uh, how to know where to put the stop losses target orders any system that is having inbuilt entries exits and targets is a great system that is the reason why i have been using cpr pivot points since a long time okay cpr pivot points is a leading indicator and you can be able to predict the market's uh, direction and its entries exits and stop loss the traders uh, uh, when they are not beginners they have some experience they really feel stuck at the point of exact entries they know how the market is go, uh, going to go and uh, they can't take their uh, entries exits and stop loss so the solution here is learn the system of cpr pivot points okay now diversify your trades most traders do that when they have uh, 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 about uh, uh, some some lakhs or some thousands in their account they unknowingly risk their maximum amount taking the leverage of uh, leverage of uh, option buying when you have 1 lakh rupees you can trade with for about 20 or 30 trades at a time when you do that when you have money it's okay you are getting great money but when you are in loss around 20 or 30,000 will be lost by the end of the game <coughs> okay so I would like to diversify your trades uh, for example in this example I told you 25,000 is your monthly risk or monthly risk so you have to risk daily around 1500 rupees in this 1500 rupees you have to give this 750 for each trade diversify it to two trades because you are doing one or two trades two strategies every day diversify this for two trades in one trade you may get loss in the other trade you may get profit so by the end of the day there are higher chances to make profits okay now you have everything within you you have learned the system you have learned educated yourself you choose a broker for yourself you develop a trading plan and you know about risk management the fifth one is start day trading most of the time day traders start with this step isn't it maybe you are also one person started with just coming into the market and starting here no after learning all these four steps you have to start your day trading okay St now start day trading but what uh, in which way you have to start your day trading trade with one lot yes what whoever it may be even you are a Karodpati, you have so much of uh, uh, properties with you, you have so much of cash flow, you have everything, what not, just trade with one lot. This is what I, I prefer because if you are having great amount of money in your uh, bank account or DMAT account, market does not have mercy on you or any other trader. When you do some wrong things as a new beginner you will definitely do wrong things and this will impact your 
bank account when you do it with one lot even you are your financial financials are good or bad when you do it with one lot your emotions are in control once you do that for a period of about 6 months increase your lot size to 5 lots okay then your your mind can shift from one lot to five lots when you do it you can see the peacefulness in the trading when you don't do and taking inappropriate inappropriate trade sizes it will blow you out and you feel like a failure for sure do it with one lot okay stay disciplined even if you are getting the losses getting the good profits don't increase your trade size lot size why because there are times all your profits could go in a single way single trade when this happens you should not hurt yourself you should not feel the victim of the market okay just do it and continuous continuously learn from the markets continuously learn new concepts for an hour every single day this is how you can survive in the market okay when you are you came here to just uh, just uh, enter the markets and taking money out of the market it's not like that there is a way to trade like that but you need to spend more money okay there is a Uh, there is some workshops or webinars that uh, have that that has the step by step uh, shrinked shrinked uh, ways to make money from the markets but if you can't afford your money you have to afford your time okay when you when you having good money go and take some uh, some good workshops or webinars and they will teach you to the point all these things are do it yourself type okay when you have money and you can invest in learning just go to a reputed channel uh, youtuber or a some course providing persons just go there and pay to them and learn from them because it will reduce your learning curve okay if you don't have money you don't want to spend the money you have to give your time to learn all these things by yourself okay the sixth one is evaluate and improve keep a trading journal when you do all these things trading with one lot you have the profits and losses and you still continue to learn from the markets from the books you have to keep a trading journal when you keep a trading journal whenever you have the profits or losses you have to write down the new things you have learned what is the reason for the loss what could be the reason for the profit and how you can improve yourself what is the one important thing you have learned is there any uh, news impacting the market and you have learned new on that particular day everything you should keep in your trading journal this is the most important work you have to do when you inculcate all these things in your trading at first you will feel uh, clumsy at 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 uh, at the beginning but this is the right process and if you do it if you increase your lot size then you feel very peaceful whenever you start to learn anything in life it is going to be like uh, uh, very difficult but days going on you will understand what is in and out of that uh, system or that uh, profession like that keep a trading journal seek feedback where do you get the feedback you get the feedback from your mistakes that you have written in your trading journal this is the reason why you have to write your trading journal right and the third one is adapt and improve if you found a pattern this pattern could be a, a loss giving pattern or a profit giving pattern if it is profit stick to it if it is loss pattern just change it think about it for about 5 to 10 minutes and you will definitely find a solution for that just change it 
and try to try to apply all these things in your trading and by the end of three or four months you will be able to understand what is uh, purely like to be a day trader whether you could survive in this profession for your lifetime or not everything will be understood okay and uh, if you know I want to introduce myself I am Vishalakshi Raja Pantula and I have been trading the markets for the past three years and I have been trained trained tens of students and they learned the system of CPR pivot points now at this point if they see the charts they would they would uh, know where the price is going to be bullish or bearish what is the trend where we have to enter where you we have to exit everything will be known to them if you want to be one among them and you can spend money to learn my experience yeah, and you don't want to waste your time of like reducing your learning curve you can attend my level one course of day trading money blueprint okay when you attend the course by the end of the course you will be learning everything about strategies risk management position sizing all my experience will be there in that course I have designed the course in a step by step process where you can uh, know about the trending days, the sideways days, the downtrends, the uptrends, sideways trends, everything. Okay? And I would like to say remember, day trading involves significant risk and can lead to substantial financial losses. It requires a combination of education, skills, discipline and a strong psychological mindset always be conscious and trade responsibly thank you so much for giving your valuable time do subscribe my channel and check for uh, future videos thank you